Hello. So this video is going to be a black and white and gray swirl tutorial using only two colors, the pinata black and white. I'm, I'm gonna give this a try before I actually order any gray. This is kind of stemming from, whoa, whoa, whoa. Kind of stemming from the brown swirl tutorial I did. The person that bought that has now requested just a black and white and gray without too much black. Or that's what her son requested. So totally got that on the inside just now. I had my heat lamp on my epoxy and so it is quite runny. Which I kind of need for what we're going to be working on. But not for trying to get it on here for coverage. So I'm just going to put... I like to start with a fairly thin layer and then just add to it from there. Some people like slather it on. It's personal preference. Whatever gets it on there. Totally fine. So since this is so runny, I keep putting my cup underneath to kind of catch most of the drips. I'm going to try and make this a little bit faster tutorial than some of the others have ended up. Get a little long-winded because sometimes I stop and I talk with my hands. That doesn't really play well whenever you're trying to not have to spend 45 minutes on a video to watch how to do something. I know I'm one of those people that doesn't enjoy a super duper long video. Unless it's something complicated that I'm intimidated by. Like learning how to use my Cameo. I was so intimidated by that because I've been running such an old program for so long that it just, I guess, scared me to try something new, but I spent all the money on it and I just had to do it. But I like the idea of the silhouette having the different settings, which has already paid off. I've cut probably five projects so far with it. At the bottom there. You don't want to accidentally ignore your bottom. I've done that before and ended up having to go back and add stuff. Alright, so I've got a nice thin layer throughout. I'm just going to go ahead and douse it. Ah, piece of glitter. I'm going to also do my very best to not end up with any glitter on this cup. I love glitter, but man, it's the devil when you don't want it to be somewhere. Alright, I'm going to have to pick some of these out. I don't even know where this came from. I'm also watching for dry spots. Like right there was a spot where it separated. That's probably from me touching it without gloves on my hands. So you definitely want this on here thick but not so thick that it's literally falling off. So I had 30 mixed. I've probably already used about 20 of it. Actually, I've used a little bit more than 20 of it. So I'm just gonna even this out a minute and then I'm going to let it spin and level for a minute while I'm watching for any dry spots. All right, so we're gonna let that level for a minute. In the meantime, I'm gonna wipe the epoxy off my hands, or off my gloves here so that I can handle my inks. I don't wanna get them accidentally epoxied shut. I'm running really low on my black. I already have a backup handy. The white one is a fairly new one. I've only had a couple projects since I opened it. When you're doing something like this, work under a surface here or work with something on your surface to protect it unless you absolutely do not care about it. Then it doesn't matter. So I'm going to try not to go crazy with the black. So I'm just going to kind of hope for the best. I'm pretty sure this is clogged up. Alright, I'm not going to fight that, so I'm going to go ahead and open the other one. 
and we're just going to drop all over. I am going to leave some of this black, but for the most part, I'm going to put white in every single one of those spots. Because even though I'm using a lot of black right here, I'm about to kind of convert most of it to gray. And then I'm going to put white in between the spots. And I'm really hoping that that's going to achieve the look I'm working for. Um, don't forget your bottom. Oops. All right. That's all the black I'm going to do for the moment. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to put white in pretty much every one of these spots. That's how I'm hoping to achieve my gray. I know it's possible. I've seen it done. I'm really glad they sell these by the individuals because I use a lot of white. I don't know if you can see it, but sometimes, yeah, you can. Sometimes my drops just go right off the page, off the cup. So I'm going to do all of these drops or all of these uh, black spots with white. And then I'll go back later and add a little bit more um, black just so that we end up with black and white and gray, not just white and gray. But I'm really trying to get a lot of gray first. I'm not super worried about trying to get the black, uh, the bottom to completely match, but I do want at least some swirling. You definitely don't want it naked, but it really doesn't. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't have a lot on the bottom. All right, so that's majority gonna end up gray. I'm gonna throw just a little bit of black in here now in some of these bare spots. I know that seems kind of counterproductive given what we just did. But I do need some black in here. I don't want it to be all gray and white. All right, I think I'm gonna start with that. So what we want to do, since this is so thick and runny right now, we are actually gonna take this off and we're gonna give it some vertical movement. I may actually have to end up heating it up since it's cooled off now. I put it that warm epoxy on a hot on a cold cup. Yeah, I'm gonna heat that up. Normally when I'm heating up epoxy, I will have my mask on. I just use a mask that I bought off of Amazon. If you need to know what it is, leave a comment and I will gladly grab the link. Can you go on there? Quick gravy. There we go. Sometimes it's a little hard because the way I have that on there. So I'm just going to heat this up a little bit. I just have an embossing gun from Joann's. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know it's from the scrapbook section and it's covered with ink and epoxy. So I'm just going to heat this up so that it gives us the movement that we need. I'll probably end up adding a few more white spots in there so that we have some really prominent swirls. Because right now I think it's just going to be kind of meh swirls. I like that. That's pretty good. Won't look like that in about five minutes. All right, so I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but when I blow on it, the epoxy's moving now. That's pretty much what we want is that kind of movement. Give a little love to the bottom. That's almost completely gray already just because of the, the placement of it. All right, so we're going to take this off. Just hold it upright. 
keep an eye on these ledges because whenever you do that, gravity, it is going to eventually slide right off. So we're keeping an eye on where this is going to end up dripping off. So pretty much the most bottom, the bottom most part of your cut is where you have to watch. So keep it swirling. I'm actually gonna heat it up a little bit more. I don't feel like it's moving like it should. I'm probably re gonna regret having it on this particular turner arm. I've got it split because it accommodates different sized cups and wine glasses and such. And I'm probably gonna regret that on this particular cup. You don't wanna get your heat gun or torch or embossing gun too, too close to your cup, your epoxy. Yep, I'm starting to drip. Because it will um, scorch it and it'll leave like a really weird ripply spot or just, it'll ruin it. It won't be so pretty. So we're just doing the up and down motion Keep an eye out for the drips. You can see right there it dripped and right here it's about to drip. So we're gonna just take it right back down. Someone else kind of gave the, the hint of taking your arm off the turner. She does a little bit different method to get some cool swirls in hers. It's called the Alicia method or Alicia. I'm not really sure. If you're in any Tumblr groups, um, type in the hashtag Alicia method. It should work because most people either spell it wrong or spell it both ways. I do believe that um, it's A-L-E-E-S-E-E-Y-A, -E 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 but most people wouldn't know that. So I've got a dry spot here, so I'm actually just gonna touch it in a minute. Not right now though. I've done a couple of tumblers where I touched the ink as it was kind of settling. It looked pretty cool. Actually, I'm gonna pick up some of this down here and just kind of take care of that dry spot. I'm gonna wipe my finger off so I don't get it all over my turner arm. This is actually turning out better than I expected from the get-go. So I really don't feel like I need to do a lot more to it. I mean, it's pretty cool. Like that. It's got a little bit of black, mostly gray, a little bit of white. There's the bottom. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to leave well enough alone. I was not expecting this to go so easily, but there you go. I did pretty good at not getting the inside real nasty, so I won't have a whole, whole lot of cleanup, which is nice. So I'm going to set my timer and I'm going to let this turn for about five hours with my heat lamp over here because I think the temperatures are supposed to drop in a couple of hours. So I really don't want to mess anything up, but I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I did not expect that to go so easy. I really expected the black to really take over. I like that a lot in that, those big swirls, but there's plenty of dark and light contrast. So I think they'll be happy with that. I'll send them a picture in the morning to see if that's what they had in mind. And if they didn't, I'll put it in the store that I have some of my cups for sale. I just list it as a ready to ship, or maybe I'll throw a decal on it and give it as a Christmas gift because that is right around the corner. So if you have any questions, drop a line in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them. I check that regularly. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to upload a video as often as I'm trying something new or different variations of what I've been doing. So if you've got an idea, shoot me a message or drop me a line in the comments or something and I'll be glad to try and give it a go. Uh, I've only been doing this for a little over a year, so I definitely 
I'm still considering myself as a newbie, but I do feel like I'm pretty decent at giving them a try whenever there's something I haven't tried before. So check out my other videos and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one.